Did you know you can now unlock the full console experience when you're ROG Ally? That's right, SteamOS, once exclusive to the Steam Deck, is now officially installable on AMD-powered handhelds like the ROG Ally and the Legion Go. Forget Windows, SteamOS was built for handhelds, giving you better performance, higher FPS, and longer battery life. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to transform your ROG Ally into the ultimate handheld gaming machine with SteamOS, so let's dive in. So what you're gonna need, an ROG Ally, a USB thumb drive with at least eight gigs. You're gonna need one that's at least 3.0 or 3.1 for those faster read and write speeds. It's gonna make this process so much quicker. Mm -hmm. You're gonna need the SteamOS, Steam Deck, recovery image, and a utility to create a bootable USB drive, either Rufus for Windows or Belina Etcher for Mac and Linux. All right, so let's get this installed. First, you wanna go ahead and download the SteamOS Steam Deck recovery image. Now we'll have that in a link down in the description down below. Then you wanna download the utility to create the bootable USB drive, and we're gonna be using Rufus here because we're on Windows. Next, go ahead and plug in that USB thumb drive and launch Rufus. Now you do want to make sure that the thumb drive is backed up or brand new because this utility is going to reformat it. At the top, under device, make sure your USB thumb drive is selected. Then click on select to navigate to where your SteamOS Steam Recovery image is. Make sure it's still zipped up and then select that. Next, click on start at the bottom and wait for it to finish. It will say ready at the bottom when it's done. Okay, with that done, you can move over to the RG Ally now because we need to disable Secure Boot in order to install SteamOS. Now to do this, we need to get into the BIOS. And to do that, you hit the power button and then press and hold down the volume down button until you see the BIOS screen come up. Now on Legion Go and Legion Go S, you're gonna hold the volume up button. Now hit the Y button to get into advanced mode. Use the D-pad to navigate over to security. Then go down to secure boot. Under secure boot control, which is a drop down, you wanna set that to disable. Once the system restarts, we want to make sure it boots from the USB drive. So go over to boot and make sure that boot option number one is set to your USB drive. Then go over to save and exit, hit A to select it, and hit A again to select OK. Now the system is going to restart and it will boot to your USB drive. All right, so once it boots up, you'll see a few options here. Before proceeding though, make sure you have everything backed up that you want to keep because this is going to wipe the drive completely. Go ahead and select wipe device and install SteamOS and be patient and wait for it to finish. If your screen does go black, it's okay. Just tap the power button and wake it back up. It will then ask you to select proceed to restart the device. It'll run through a few more things. This is a good time to go ahead and now unplug that USB drive. And before you know it, you'll see the SteamOS splash screen. Now you're gonna go ahead and walk through the setup, select your language, time zone, and connect to your Wi-Fi. Then it will complete the installation process. And then finally, it'll ask you to sign into Steam and you're all done. Okay, so our overall experience uh, with this, and we'll, we'll touch on like some of the performance, improved performance and things like that. So the overall experience with SteamOS on the RG Ally, it's been pretty good so far. Mm -hmm. One, you get a more console-like experience, which is always yes. great. Uh, because it boots uh, you know, right into Steam, you can just pick up and play your games. You guys all know like what Steam's like. Uh, you know, the SteamOS is just more intuitive, mm -hmm. unlike you know, Windows. Also on Windows 11, the updating process is kind of a nightmare. You have your Windows yeah. updates. You have your Armory, my, crate. Armory Crate, and then you have your My Asus updates. That's a lot. You know, updating that BIOS was like kind of always nerve wracking. You know, you're really waiting for it to come back and yeah. things like that. It's just not not a great experience with SteamOS. Everything's all rolled up into one. And because you don't have all that Windows bloat, performance is better. The system is more snappy and responsive. Games seem to load quicker. And speaking of games, we tested out a number of games, and for the most part, we experienced higher FPS. Depending on the game, we were getting another 5 to 10 FPS, making gameplay smoother and more responsive, which was great. Now, with that being said, we did run into some issues. We, uh, we had some games that just went and install, or actually just one, and it was Forza Horizon 5. So when you we did the SteamOS install, it was at 378, but there was a 379 a SteamOS update. So make sure that your SteamOS is um, as up to date as uh, after you install it with the you know the install process. Check for any updates. So once we did that, Force Horizon worked and we didn't have any issues. 
So that might help you, just uh, something to look out for. Mm -hmm. Another issue we ran into was when we were playing Spider-Man Miles Morales. When the game tells you what controls to use for a specific task or button combo for a specific move, it doesn't recognize the controller inputs, so it literally just shows a question mark. So that means things kind of hard if you're not, or you don't already have the muscle memory or have been playing the game for a while, you kind of gotta just guess. We did try to use other controller profiles, but that still didn't seem to fix the issue. Also, you can't adjust the TDP and you're stuck at a max of 15 watt. And you can also not control the GPU clock unless you install Decky Loader with the simple Decky TDP plugin. Another drawback of SteamOS on your RG Ally is with anti-cheat games. So compatibility with Windows launches like GOG and Epic and Xbox Game Pass is not straightforward. So if you're heavy into like multiplayer games, you, you're probably gonna wanna stick with Windows. Also, the RGB lights don't seem to work anymore, and that's probably gonna be fixed with like an update to this whole uh, process, or you know, after you get SteamOS installed, it'll probably be an update. You know that you have an RG Ally, and it'll fix things like that. It's also gonna wipe out your Windows installation, as we mentioned, mm -hmm. so perhaps you wanna keep your Windows installation on the M.2 drive you have, and then buy another one to install the uh, SteamOS. So that's just something to keep in mind. On the other hand though, the suspend and resume functionality is more reliable on the SteamOS, akin to like quick resume on the Xbox. Gyro still works. Now battery life, it was better. It's not super significant. I mean, you're still dealing with a 40 watt hour battery, so you know, it's not gonna be terrific, but it was a little bit better. So we kind of recommend maybe waiting a while. The user experience is going to continue to get better over time. But if you mostly play Steam games and you want a more console-like experience, SteamOS on the RG Ally is definitely a winner. Well, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Let us know in the comments down below. Um, how are you going to go about this? If you have an RG Ally or other compatible AMD device, are you going to put SteamOS on your device at this time? Are you going to wait and see? Um, you know, or if you have any other tips and tricks that we didn't mention in this video. But don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe so we can keep bringing you great content like this. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.